they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or hmm, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, huh, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. <laughs> Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <laughs> you was in Africa? I've lived many a life, young Morgan. Uh, in your mind, maybe. Well, I should get back to it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Everyone thinks that you're Dutch's pet. His pet? <laughs> yep. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Sure. I mean, so, oh, so, some do. Few people. Who? Oh. I don't know. Well, me, or not me, maybe me, I don't, ah, shit, I don't know, I mean, like, hey, hey, it's like, okay, I love liquor, I love liquor, but liquor don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> pathetic. Genuinely pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Now she really hates me, Arthur. I'll be cooked myself if I don't move. Oh, John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Hello, Mr. Pierce. Big old Dutch Vanderland. Just remember who you're talking to. I part love you and I part hate you. Why are you acting like a fool? But mostly, I don't understand a word you say. That's enough now. You really have a plan, Dutch? Or you just keep telling us you do? I mean, a real plan. Not eating mangoes on a tropical island plan. Grow up!
What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. There, girl. Okay, girl. Easy, over girl. there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. Alright. Lead the way. Damn it! <laughs> Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison, on the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. Oh, it's haven't gone cold yet. 
Maybe half a day since they left? Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Well done, girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. Okay. You see anything? Shit! I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Yeah, you're all right, girl. All right, girl. <laughs> Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Hey, calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we do? Ah! It's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you oh. killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Oh, please, don't. Kill me. I'm begging. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
It's me. Good to see you back, Arthur. Rest up. I need you strong. I've no problem resting up. Mr. Morgan. Hey, nice throw, Jack. Thanks. I might have a go myself. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Let me know if you find candy. Look at you, Williamson. You're as lazy as a toad and twice as ugly. Come on, Arthur, don't start. It's all good. Calm down. Yeah. Good one, Arthur. Have you got molasses in your britches or something? Why are you such a son of a bitch? Sorry, I, I don't know why I find this so entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> You're a strange one, all right. Or huh, What? Sorry. Uh, I'll stop messing with you now. Oh, I'm going back to sleep. Hello? Have a seat and a swig, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train. Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. I gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Come have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> you gonna pass out in your own shit again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard it all before. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Shit, you're really getting me riled up there. You bring in no money and drink ten times your share. Dang it, you ain't difficult. Okay, okay, I really am done now. Ah, you're quite the entertainer. <laughs> you're like a goddamn tick, sucking us dry. I ain't wasting my time on you. You redheads are all the same. Hey, don't be an arsehole. Big mouths, no brains. Hey, you think this is funny? And run like shit when it gets hot. You do what you want. Uh-oh, Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. When are you going to remove that chip from your shoulder? Well, maybe you're just staring blankly for effect. Why are you doing this? Either way, it ain't getting us nowhere. Don't Arthur, mind. leave it now, man. Yep, the big boss, that's you. Man who cannot be wrong. You need to get your head right. There he is, the camp pig. Don't, Arthur, come on. No wonder we're always short of... Hey, Why come on now. Fight?
Look at you, all full of piss and vinegar. Oh, here we go. Pearson's cooking got a lot more sour since you arrived. Do you have a brain in that head of yours? Hey, take it out on Karen, not me. All right, I'm ignoring you now. Have you seen the way Dutch looks at Mary Beth? Uh, not now, Arthur. Like a dog with a piece of steak. Will you leave me be? You just keep telling yourself what you need to hear. Stay away from me. My people. The peasants starving in a field. Someplace. My mamas were in Lincolnshire. My daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Our job, our job is to make a better world for ourselves. Not go backward, but go forward with hope and dreams. Seriously. And that hope, that hope begins now by being hopeful and happy. So cheer up, all of you, cheer up. You okay? Yeah, just fed up with all the pessimism around here. There he is. Let your forgiveness serve you. You all right there? Yeah. I think so. What are we gonna do with you? Certainly. So you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. Well, I should get back to it. Yep. You busy, I Arthur? I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Hey, Pearson. You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't think they needed to dump you outside camp like that. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I mean that. Sure, well, as you were. You got all you need. Let's go. Easy, girl. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Now, big 
place, right? You got your binoculars? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow, and... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Creeper spin. Don't score notions of the Diffy Plymouth's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone but ten minutes I was. Y'all got the holly gag all the now day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see.